Finally, the core tools that we'll use in the course, and by core, we mean the, the infrastructure that we'll use. Um, well, we talked about technical support. So we use the Slack channel to ask for help. So make sure you're registered on the Slack channel. And when asking for help, it, it's, uh, it helps to know how to ask for help. So talk about what you thought or what you expected to happen and then talk about what did happen. It helps us to know the versions of code and operating systems that you use and what you were doing leading up to the problem as in the steps before where things got stuck. There's a tip here to use this service called Pastebin to drop big chunks of code or error messages in because that helps to move the, uh, that sometimes an error message can be a few pages long using something like Pastebin gives us a link to look at whether the log files or the output is without interrupting the conversation. So Slack is the communication tool that we'll use mostly in the course, apart from Zoom. Um, there are some links here to go through. If you haven't used Slack before, then uh, try this, how to use Slack. Um, tutorial below to get a feeling for it. And if you haven't yet received an invitation for the channel, please get in touch. Stack Overflow is a website with lots of answers to software questions. Um, it's been around for a long time. And so something to bear in mind when searching on Stack Overflow is to check how old the response was, because sometimes the software itself that you're looking for has maybe been updated and the answers that have been proposed may not still be relevant. Some of the systems that we'll be using when we start working with code is Git version control for software. And again, there are some links here to go through interactive exercises to get some familiarity with Git. Docker is a virtual machine or a virtualization technology, which we might be using for some of the tech. And again, there's a link there to practice this in your own time. A lot of the tutorials and practice will be run in Google Cloud you know, using their system called Colab. So before next week, we'll need to create a Google Cloud account and we'll use this for most of the practice. Amazon have similar services and the, the chatbot prac will be held using Amazon tech. So we'll need an Amazon account for this. So again, please create this uh, before next week. And so Colab with Google's online code environment notebook type thing where you can write Python code, you can do data science, you can do machine learning and uh, do uh, net, uh, neural machine translation, you can do speech recognition, pretty much anything that you can do in Python, you can run in Colab and it's a really uh, good online interface for doing these practice. So if you haven't used Colab before, watch the video here and there are some more links to tips and tricks. Our prep next week will be an introduction to Colab. For some of the work, we'll need a code editor on our own computers and we recommend PyCharm. Again, there are links for quick tools of PyCharm. Uh, PyCharm is free for students. So if you're looking for, uh, if it asks you for a trial version, just look on the websites for their free education uh, registrations. 